Okay, this tutorial is going to take us through basic road and intersection creation. Uh, when you first enter into UC WinRoad, you're placed in the 3D view, like this. It should look something similar with default terrain. And so we're going to create a couple of roads on the relatively flat area right in the foreground. To create a road, click on Plan View right here, and you'll be taken to an overview of your entire project area. Uh, this is a 20 by 20 kilometer grid and you can set this up uh, manually in your um, application settings when you first start UC WinRoad and you first create a new user defined project. This Pac-Man looking thing right here in the middle is where our camera is and double clicking moves it around. To zoom into that area we can either create a zoom box like this by left clicking or you can zoom in and out using these controls on the upper left hand corner. So to create a road simply click the make a road button left click anywhere to start your road and then every subsequent time you left click you're going to create a new turning point until you right click you can finish your road when you're satisfied hitting this build roads button will create the cutting or banking on your road so when you go back into 3d view this is basically the modeling data the information right here once it creates the road to create an intersection, all you have to do is create two overlapping roads. So I'm going to start a second road right here that crosses over the first one. And then when I hit this Build Roads button, it's going to create an intersection in the middle unless these aren't exactly crossing over each other. So I got a red circle right here, meaning that I need to adjust the vertical curve of these two roads so they pass over each other. Um, in the, the z-axis basically. So I'm going to click on one of these roads, right click on it, go to edit, edit road 1 vertical curve, and this takes me into the vertical profile. So you can see right here when I mouse over this blue line, this is actually my intersecting road. So you can see that this is the road that I'm editing, and this is the intersecting road, and they're not crossing over each other. So rather than creating an intersection, you see WinRoad has simply chosen to ignore that. There are two ways we can get this road to cross over the other one we can either pull the entire road down like this or if you want to keep the road kind of more uh, hugging closely to the terrain here you can add in turning points either by right clicking and adding a turning point like that or by selecting add turning point right here and then you can drop one on wherever you want on your road just like that and you can adjust these, uh, these curves right here to get a more smooth or more abrupt turn on your road. So if I zoom into this a little bit more closely, I want to check and make sure that this is as close over that intersecting road as possible. Then I hit OK. When it builds these roads now, it sees an intersection there because the roads are crossing over each other in the z-axis. So I'm going to move my camera here just by double clicking on the ground. When I go back into 3D view, my camera will be placed right over the intersection so when I look down right here I can see it and it's modeled co correctly in 3D so now I'm just gonna put a few cars on it and all traffic generation is done using this menu right here called traffic generators when you click on it it opens up a list of all of the roads from start to finish the starting point and the finishing point of each road and right now you can see that these are all blank so if I check each one it activates traffic for that particular road the start or the finish point and I can adjust the traffic volume so right here I have 500 cars per hour I'm going to increase this to 2000 per hour and decrease the speed on this road to 30 kilometers per hour just to get a little differentiation here so when I close this I can start a traffic simulation by going to options traffic movement run simulation when I click go this basically speeds through a traffic simulation just so I don't have to wait for cars to generate from the endpoints so now when I click start traffic there's already cars populating my model if I just hit the start traffic button cars will start to filter in from the endpoints of each road and that can obviously just take a little bit of time for the cars to get there to where you want to see them at the intersection so right now you can see that there's not a whole lot happening at this intersection. Cars don't really know what to do because I haven't set up any traffic controls or signals for this intersection. And that's what we'll be doing in the subsequent tutorial.